a few hours ago, that lava was kilometres down inside the earth, brewing and rising up and all the gases coming out of it, forcing it up to the surface, and that's pushing it down the hill. And it's just a miracle to see this. The molten rock that rises from deep inside the earth is known as magma, but when it erupts from the volcano, it's called lava. Lava contains many different minerals, and when it cools and slows down, it solidifies to form igneous rock. Lava will take on different forms depending on its chemical composition. We've got two kinds of lava on volcanoes, very broadly. We've got one that we call RR, because you go ah, ah when you walk over it, it's because it's really clinkery and loose and blocky. And then we've got pahoe hoe lava. These, these two words are Hawaiian words, and pahoehoe is much smoother and it looks like coils of rope uh, piled up. It's very beautiful, actually, pahoehoe. To help them understand the lava flows and rock formation, they need to collect some very fresh samples. We took a sample of fresh lava to, to make some analysis, chemical analysis, to understand which kind of magma we are, we are seeing this afternoon. Clive, do you think that it's enough? I, I think I don't want to see you do that death-defying yes. act again. I think that's, that's perfect. Yeah. Yes, Still it's very really hot. hot. Volcanoes are actually very important for the Earth's atmosphere and they pump gases continuously, like Etna, the 4,000 tonnes per day of sulphur dioxide that we saw being emitted is actually a phenomenal amount. I mean, that's equivalent probably to the entire industrial output from a country like France. So these are really, this single hole in the ground is pumping out a huge amount of gas. And it's not just sulphur, it's other gases, uh, the uh, fluorine, the chlorine, and the bromine, and lots of metals, heavy metals like mercury, which aren't very good for you. And even Mount Etna, 700 kilograms a year of gold goes into the atmosphere, out of the crater, and you know, if you could figure out a way to extract that, you'd be very, very rich. But volcanoes are very important globally for the Earth's atmosphere, for its evolution in geological time, and when you have a very large volcanic eruption, a single event, if it pumps a lot of sulfur into the atmosphere, it can change climate for a couple of years afterwards. So they're really important, not just for the hazards of people on, ground, on the ground, but also for the evolution of the atmosphere, the evolution of life, and for the atmosphere that we breathe right now.